everyone, I'm Kat. Today's reading is Angel Messages This Week. So, is sorry, your Angel Messages This Week. <laughs> I've done thousands of intuitive energy readings over the years working with the guides and I can tell you they are so wise, they have such an amazing spirit and energy to bring through to you. I refer to the guides collectively and this includes angels, archangels, my guides, personal guides, collective guides, angel helpers, benevolent helpers, animal spirits, all sorts of different things, okay? So when I say the guides, I mean all of the above. So let's find out what the angels specifically have to tell you today. If I call them the guides though, this is just out of habit because I refer to all uh, non-physical helpers as guides. Okay, so I hope you understand if this offends you, I do apologise. Um, so be sure to ding the bell guys if you want to watch tomorrow's reading and beyond. If you just subscribe, you don't get notified very often and then you miss out on the guide's amazing information. So, okay. Anyway, that's enough from me. Please pause the video if you haven't chosen your group. Let's go. Hi group one. Okay. Angel messages this week. We've got the High Priestess, Queen of Fire, Nine of Earth. So we've got, um, obviously, High Priestess, High Priestess, Queen of Wands, and Nine of Coins. So what do they have to tell you? The High Priestess, obviously, listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Um, this is, the card says, listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. This is all about being intuitive, taking your time, um, getting in a still place, being aware of signs and signals and symbols that they are sending you. They're saying, be aware of what you look for in terms of their communication with you. Some of you it's coins, some of you it's feathers, some of you it's butterflies. And just be open to different messages as well because this is an angel messages reading. The fact that the high priestess has come through is really strong. They're saying they're trying to tell you something in a good way. It's nothing to be worried about. They're trying to tell you something, but you need to kind of listen. It's interesting that you've been given the queen of fire. I feel like this is the majority of you. This is you. Now, the queen of fire, the queen of wands, she's really powerful. She's very self-actualized you know she's kind of got herself together the other thing is in my readings the queen of fire is really the divine feminine of the minor arcana so you know this is the feminine this is the feminine rising so we've got kind of like all of the feminine going on here you really have the opportunity you know to kind of take a sort of creative intuitive vision to the next level that's what they're trying to say with this nine of coins um because you know the nine of coins is abundance and the physical tangible kind of comfort of life i think that you've got a lot of abundance coming your way but you have to kind of be um you have to sort of step into your power to get it. And that's what this High Priestess Queen of Fire is combination is about. You've got to feel powerful. You've got to be powerful. You've got to step into your power. Yeah. This is really, really crucial. You know, the Nine of Coins. I, I love this because actually on the card, Doreen Virtue has written, enjoy life's little luxuries. I love this. It really triggers for me. They're saying yes before it's even come out of my mouth. Um, it triggers for me the concept of self-care, self-love. You know, set a precedent for the universe. Say, you know, I deserve good things. Look, I'm enjoying my life. I'm enjoying the comfort of my life. Now, I know some of you are not in the best situation, but, you know, we've always got something that we can appreciate and be grateful for. So, you know, make the most of what you do have. Appreciate what you do have. Feel powerful. Step into your power. This is going to help you create more of it this week. Okay, that's what they're saying. You have the chance to really bring forward some vision that you've had. Okay, that's what they're trying to help you with. Let them help you. Watch out for the signs. Thanks, number ones. I'll see you tomorrow. Ding the bell. Um, 
or on a private reading in the meantime. See you guys. Hello group two. So your angel messages this week. Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups, uh, n eight, sorry, Knight of Water, which is Knight of Cups, Ace of Fire, Ace of Wands. Okay, so do you know what? They're saying you've had some sort of disappointment or issue or difficulty. Um, you know, perhaps you felt like you have to put a wall up, a barrier up. Maybe someone's kind of been difficult in your life. Maybe you feel like you need to protect yourself. The Seven of Swords is kind of that energy. I mean, Doreen Virtue say plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye. I think that's her nice way of saying someone might be lying <laughs> or things might not be quite as they seem. And poor timing. You know, I mean, this is a really positive spin on it and I love that. Um, there's nothing to be worried about here. All it means is that, you know, just... For me, the Seven of Swords is like, it's ego. It's the kind of eat or be eaten, um, attack as a form of defence, <laughs> can be really very Seven of Swords kind of energies. It's that sort of feeling like, you know, survival of the fittest energy of kind of like trying to protect yourself. And it's either that you are the one feeling they need to protect themselves or someone in your life is being like that. So you know when somebody kind of doesn't treat you that well or does something a bit underhand, someone's jealous of you, someone does something mean to you, often it's because they feel insecure or they're trying to protect themselves, you know, and they're just being selfish or self-oriented. Well, this is the Seven of Swords energy. The point is that something a bit difficult or stressful is going on. Your mind's maybe going a bit over, you know, going doing a little bit of overtime as well. Um, it, it's You've got a tricky situation going on. But the Knight of Water is saying, you know what, this is... The Knight of Cups is like encouraging you to kind of come back into emotional balance. The, you know, it's kind of only act on your intuition. You need to calm your mind down, listen to your emotions, but also balance your emotions, yeah? Um, see the situation through the eyes of love rather than fear. This is really crucial. If you can calm and balance your emotions and see the situation through love rather than fear, what you're going to get is the ace of wands, ace of fire. A new opportunity, a new aha, a revelation, a realisation. Um, an opportunity to step forward and get start something new. Um, an awakening, do you know what I mean? That it's, it's going to really bring positive fire and passion into your life. So, you know, it's like the way forwards. The, they're saying, do you know what, this week, the way forwards is love not fear you've got to balance your emotions bring down the wall it doesn't mean you let people take advantage of you but if you listen to your intuition you don't need to defend yourself because the, your intuition will guide you around all those difficult people okay and that's they're saying as well <laughs> they're saying they're laughing at me they're saying in, intuition intuition that they're, they're saying that they are the intuition they are the intuition so they are saying balance yourself so that you can hear them. They're trying to guide you around these situations. You don't need to defend yourself. They will do it for you, but you've got to listen. Okay? Loads of love number twos. I will see you tomorrow. Please ding the bell or on a private reading in the meantime. Hello, number threes. Oh. Hello group three. I don't know why the camera keeps doing this here. It must be the angle I've got it at. Ooh. Anyway. <laughs> right. We've got... For your angel messages this week are the five of water, 
the two of fire and the king of water so this is the five of cups two of wands king of cups so okay so the five of cups you know let's be honest they're saying you know you feel disappointed about something um it's not gone the way you wanted it to things don't um things don't feel to be working out with the you may have come to this reading with a question in mind or a situation in mind they're saying there's something that you really care about that you are emotionally invested in that is not working out right or is not going the way you want or you're disappointed about it there's something that's really tricky for you it's really difficult and you think you know you just wish that it was different but do you know what there's no they're saying there's no point um like worrying about it now there's no point kind of crying over the past you've got to move forwards and that's what the two of fire is about the two of wands they said you know like you actually you've you or you know what you need to do you've already had the inspiration of what you need to do you know and you can move on from this you can kind of find a new and positive situation but you have to leave the past behind you have to leave the five of cups behind they're saying do you know what they're helping you to new inspirations and new ideas but 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 you've got to move forward yourself you know you've got to be open to new possibilities new partnerships new ideas you can have the situation you think you've lost you can have a similar situation that's actually even better for you but you've got to be prepared to move the king of water is really amusing because the king of water is basically for me this is the spiritual guide and they are your spiritual guides obviously they're your angels so they're saying you know they are trying to guide you in this new venture but you have to let the past go you maybe are stood on the sidelines feeling like you can't move forwards but it's because you're still holding on to the past make sure you're not holding on to the past i mean guys i've done this so many times i'm sure you have as well and just when you think you've got it and you know what you're doing with it you find oh my goodness i'm still holding on to that thing it's basically you can't pick some up something up with a full hand if you still have a full hand you won't be able to pick up the new thing and this will all be happening on an unconscious level you don't even realize it you just feel like you're stuck and nothing's happening when actually it's because you're still holding on to something and you've got to let it go so let it go and and realize it's time for you to move it's time for you to come into your own as Doreen Virtue says with the two of wands which I really like I like this statement you've come into your own you have you've had the inspiration now it's time to make a plan to move forwards let them help you let them help you um move forwards they're saying this is about moving into emotional balance emotional stability about having kind of emotional intelligence and knowing that it's time to move on and you need to have this emotional intelligence and let them help you to do that okay loads of love number threes i will see you tomorrow please ding the bell or on a private reading in the meantime have a lovely day hi guys so this is your angel messages for this week we've got the king of fire which is the king of wands king of earth which is the king of coins and ego this is the devil so this is really really interesting you've got a very unusual combination here i mean three cards and you've got two kings okay there's something here about advice fatherly advice wisdom i feel very strongly guys that they're saying that there is somebody yeah because they're saying yes look they're pointing at the king of earth what they're saying is that you perhaps need some guidance from a parent or an oldest brother or 
you know, some sort of strong masculine energy that you trust and rely on over either the circumstance you're asking about or your life in general. You need some help, you need some guidance, you know. Um, it could be a boss either or it could be a father figure. But someone can guide you. I feel like that's what these energies are about. They're saying someone needs to guide you because this week there's something that's going to kind of get you in its grip. Now it's not bad, it's nothing to panic about. It's more that you will feel fed up or disappointed or you'll get sucked into the mind, the personality self, the ego. Let me read what Doreen Virtue writes on the, has written on the card because this could help you to understand. So, ego, a false sense of entrapment. Being overly focused on material things. Negative or fear-based thoughts. So there are three broad interpretations of ego, of the devil energy, okay? So you're going to find, they're saying, that you are encountering something like that this week. Um, so you're going to feel trapped or feel restricted in some way. You're going to get too caught up in material, the materialistic materialism of life. Or you're going to get caught in some sort of fear-based negative thinking. What they're saying is their help for you is that they are sending information, support and help via this male figure. So it could be a boss or it could be a father figure. Okay. Uh, but th they will give you the support and help that you need. They will be there for you. They will give you the advice and they will give you the help and support and it's okay to need support and sometimes the angels send other people i mean sometimes they send angels in human what look like human form <laughs> so um you know sometimes we encounter a kind stranger and actually that person is an angel <laughs> and we just think that it's some random stranger um and we've all read stories about that but what they're saying is sometimes it's easier for them to send the messages via somebody else. And sometimes, you know, we are 3D human um, beings. We need that physical presence and comfort at times. And they're saying it's okay to reach out. It's okay to need that support. And they are sending their support via this person. So be open to it. Guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. Please ding the bell and join us tomorrow for tomorrow's reading, which is about his current thoughts. Um, I will see you then or on a private reading in the meantime. See you soon, guys.